driving around. We're gonna go for a little stroll. I love it. Around, can't a, wait. around Philly. What's your favorite thing about Philadelphia? Oh man, it's been a great stay. Our kids love it, to be honest with you. They do? Yeah, we live in a great town and uh, it's got a great public school system and they absolutely love the schools. How old are your kids? Uh, we're 15, 12, and 9. Full speed ahead. 15 is a girl or a boy? Girl. She's a freshman. Freshman, yeah. Yeah, it gets a little tricky. It though. does get a little tricky. <laughs> I got a freshman boy. Hey. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Nice. So I have, I have four, but. Oh, um... well, you might worry a little less, but I might worry a little more. Yeah. <laughs> Get your uh, your pilot's license? Yeah, who told you that? Yeah, Why was I'm it a actually, secret? Well, it was. Yeah, I didn't want to go there. <laughs> like, Do not a lot of people know? No, I don't right. think very many Hold people. Well, well, no one in this up. building really knows. Well, someone in the building knows. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you've always loved to fly? So no, my dad was a pilot in the Navy, and I grew up listening to all of his stories, and it was something I've always wanted to do. Um, he passed away actually right after the Super Bowl. Um, and so then this year I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna wait anymore. I'm doing it. I'm gonna yeah. knock it out and get it done. I've always wanted to do it, so. And once you actually get the license. Yeah, I don't really have what a are you gonna do with it? big plan <laughs> of anything to do. It's more of like, can I check the box? Got I it. like checking boxes. So, right, uh, bucket yeah. list? Yeah, that's on the list. We're doing a little off-roading here, by Shoot, the way, I should point out. Nice. There's a nice skate ramp over here. Um, so then, a skate ramp? skateboarding? Yeah, right. No, I don't have any skateboarders. Are you a skateboarder? I was. Oh my gosh, have you skateboarded at this skate ramp? No, but I brought my son over here. We kind of checked it out. So hold on, what don't you do? Because I feel <laughs> like I feel like that you have a lot of hobbies. Yeah, I've done a lot of things. I, I, that's why I said I really do enjoy learning things. So hold, there's something in the glove compartment. Everybody's done this. Everybody has a little something in the glove compartment uh, yeah. that's going to tell a little something about you. So open it up. It's going to jump see. out at me? Yeah, it's not, nothing's going <laughs> to jump out. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, we got a little honey. This is uh, some organic honey. At least honey. it's organic. Yeah. It looks like it comes from, I'm not sure. It's pesticide free, wholesome, organic honey, which is good. All right, what's the connection? The connection for me is I would be considered a beekeeper in the state of New Jersey. I mean, that is unbelievable. <laughs> How did, how, how did well, one become a beekeeper? That's a long story, so um, for me that actually all started with alcohol. And the original alcohol was actually made from honey, and that would be called like a mead. Okay. So it's like kind of like a wine, but made from honey. Oh, so you know all about that too? Well, yeah, so that was one thing on the bucket list, but then brewing beer with honey as an additive I'm was hang another out with thing you on the bucket often. list. So we got into brewing beer, and then we got into making mead. Who's we? And we've done, well, myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Me, myself, and I. Yeah. But I don't know how, as an NFL coach, that you have well, that much time. Is it just the way your mind works? Yeah, it's, the, it's probably my only escape, is during the off season, then you just kind of get away from it for a little bit, and do right. something totally different. Wait, one of these is broad. Which one's broad? Yeah, right here. Yeah, so this is broad. Set it up broad. Yeah. Yep. So being here, I mean, this was where the parade was, right? Yeah, it was a rush. I mean, I mean, where was that in in like the pinnacle, the highlight of, of your life, uh, the whole thing? It's hard to imagine. I would say surreal. Yeah. Um, the whole experience, and I always say that one day I'll really enjoy it. You know, I mean, during the whole thing, it was hard to enjoy because right. you're so focused on trying to win one game. Yeah. And then when it's all over, it all happens so fast. It's like. You'll see a clip on TV and be like, man, that, that we were a, really in that game. That was us. You know, that was us. Right. Where do you keep the ring? The ring's just in a safe. <laughs> That's yeah. what everybody says, it's in a safe. Yeah, I mean, the best part Sweet. about the ring is actually seeing somebody else who wants to see it, see it. Well, I've learned a lot. All right. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I, I want to know what what's next. What's next year's? Next year, that's the be? that's the whole problem with the thing. You, you can't project it. Okay. You don't know. Well, so let's do this again next year. We'll up. find we'll out. We'll do it again next year. So, how many times have you been stung? A lot. That's awful. Yeah. You're a Minnesota boy, right? I was born and raised in Minnesota until I was 16. Yeah. So how's how is it living in Philadelphia? Uh, or you don't? You live outside of? Yeah, I mean, you know how this whole thing works. If you're from South Philly, I mean, you, I'm in Haddonfield, which is right across the bridge. You're in I mean, Jersey. I'm 12 minutes. But when you're from the West, it's like New Jersey. Oh, I know. I live in Jersey. Right? My dad's like, you don't want to live in 
Jersey. Jer correct. Beautiful parts of Jersey. Oh my gosh. And the schools are good. The school is good. The town's, it's the best. I mean, we've lived in six cities now. It's by far for our family. It is. And the town and the people, yeah, it's, it's been amazing. We do probably not enough, but we do a pretty good job of coming into the city, doing the restaurant thing. Yeah, what we are love, some of your favorite spots? Oh man, it's been a, I, I mean, the food's amazing, right? Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong pretty much anywhere. Um, I mean, Double Knot, Mohairns. Uh, are you a cheesesteak guy or is that? Uh, I'm a, yeah, I guess I am. I might eat them like every <laughs> no. weekend or anything. <laughs> So when you're not at the office and thinking about football and grinding, what yeah. are you doing? Um, check this out. I know. Well, hold on. Um, cool. Look at that. There's apparently a skate ramp up yeah, there. Yeah, there's a skate park in there. All the graffiti? That's super cool, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, I spent a bunch of time on a skateboard in my life. You so, have? Yes, yeah. I we still do. A lot of the Eagles coaches are skateboarders. We're finding oh, out. Pipper, <laughs> Pipper say something about it too. <laughs> yeah, he there. He's the one who pointed yeah, it out. Yeah. What other uh, What other sports for you? I got a uh, yellow lab, a bird dog. So, are you hunting? Yeah, bird hunting, pheasant, chuck, or quail down in South Jersey, if you believe it or not. Which until I got here, got the dog, and then did the research. I mean, you would never think it, right? No. I mean, if you got dropped off out there, if we drove down there right now, you blindfolded somebody and you took it off, you'd be like, where are you? You'd be like, uh, are we in Nebraska? Right. I mean, it's beautiful down there. Yes. Well, we're finding out about everybody. Everybody's gotten something in the glove compartment, so there's something in there that sort of speaks to your personality. Oh, I'm popping it open? Yeah, you sure are. So we can, um... <laughs> there you go. Excellent. <laughs> I don't know what you can where's do with the, that. Where's the, where's the rest? We got the rest of it. <laughs> Explain what you do with that. It must mean you're really good if you're catching fish with that thing. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a, I'm a fly guy. <laughs> um, I'm going to push the button. Yeah, you're not doing anything with this. Okay. This is a, you put this on your desk though. <laughs> Am I keeping it? That is yours to you keep. You're going to sign it? So I know I saw the video of you going down the snake yeah. river with the family, yeah. the dog, yeah. everybody. Yeah. So tell us about that. Yeah, so when we were in Colorado those four years, I've been fly fishing for a while. And so we went ahead and purchased a drift boat. And uh, we spend, in the summers, we spend as much time on the water in that, on that boat as we can, possibly can. And we love it, the kids love it being out. I mean, there's no cell service out there. Right. And you push off from the boat ramp and then you're, you're floating. They always talk about coaches that sort of live at the office and, and can't get away and can't relax, but that, that doesn't seem like it's, it seems like you know how to relax. Um, I, I feel like, yeah, I feel like over the years, um, we've gotten a lot better. And when we're fortunate to get the time off, especially in the summer, I am full shutdown mode. I mean, you're away from your family so much that it's a good way to, uh, yeah, get to know each other again. <laughs> much. Hi, I'm your dad. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not. It's not that drastic. So we're on Broad, right where the parade was, right? Yeah. yeah. The, the culmination I mean, started, of the celebration. Started right here. Yeah. Um, Celebrating that you, with your, yeah. you know, with your wife and kids. I mean, it's hard not to even now, like drive up here, even going home from work, which I go right there and then get on the Whitman. Uh -huh. I mean, it's hard not to ever not think about like the amount of people that were down here. Really? And, oh my gosh. Where do you keep your ring? Uh, it's in the bank, safety deposit box. So do you ever just go visit it, or? Um, <laughs> I mean, it's just Just going to the bank on a Saturday, it's not open being it up. enjoyed. Ah. <laughs> no. All right, well, that was great. Awesome. Time to well get back done. to work. Take your, well your, I don't even know what. I'm keeping it. What is that? What is that called? A this, is, <laughs> this is the butt of the rod, and okay. this is the reel. Keep your butt of the rod and your reel. Yeah. And put on your desk. Done. No? Awesome. Well, you've moved around a lot. Yes. So how does how does Philadelphia compare to all the places you've been? Oh my goodness, the food is incredible. That's the <laughs> hardest thing. If you're ever going to dinner in Philadelphia, call me. I can tell you every single restaurant. I mean, if there's one spot you have to go to. Okay, so you're gonna put me on the spot. I like that. Yeah. Radicchio. 
I met the owner of the restaurant in Rome, Italy, believe it or not. We ended up talking to each other, became very good friends. Uh, it's a small place, but it's really, really good food. So obviously Italian, that, that's hard for you to eat, right, these days? You're not eating much Italian. No, I can eat, it's a lot of, there's a like, uh, I eat a lot of like, the, the, one of my favorite dishes there would be the grilled octopus with lemon capers and it's really good. But no meat for you, no cheese steaks. I don't eat, I don't miss meat. I don't, I, no hell no, I don't eat cheese steaks. So 10 years ago you had. I had, a I was at the high. Miami airport and my neck felt really strange. It was really stiff, it kind of gave me a pain. and. I called the doctor, the team doctor, and I said, hey doc, I'm not feeling right, something's wrong. He's like, oh, you're crazy. Style, you work out every day, what are you talking? I said, I'm telling you doc, there's something wrong with me. He said, okay, go across the street to the hospital, Jackson Memorial, and I did. And uh, within minutes, they could tell there was a block. I had a 99% blockage in wow. the Widowmaker. And they did the surgery, right? They got my family down to the hospital and did surgery. and. Since then, I've really been watching. Not that I ever ate bad either. I was always, I'm a nutrition minor in college. I, I've always watched what I eat, but now I'm really pretty. Vegetables and fish. Yeah, yeah. So no cheesesteak recommendations for us. And you know what that did for me? No, not yeah. me. You can go have that, but. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your family, how many kids? I have two kids. Jake is the oldest, he's 23. My daughter, Maddie, is two years younger. And my wife, Allison, is a children's author. And you talked about working out and your lifestyle. You're you're a golfer, aren't you? I love to play golf. How, how good are you? Um, I'm average. My son's really good. And my daughter does a lot of things for a lot of people. She raises a lot of money for cancer, for breast cancer, uh, Relay for Life. She runs the entire organization at the univer at Millersville University. Done that for four years. They're gonna miss her now when she's gone, but. So you have some overachievers, your kids. Oh, yeah. My daughter goes a lot, she goes out of her way for a lot of people. So when you're not at the office grinding, thinking about football, where are you? Are you on a golf course? Uh, well, yeah, I'm on a golf course or I'm doing, like my wife loves the garden and I actually like doing it too. Uh, we also like to travel a lot. You We've do? We've traveled a lot. We've traveled to Europe every year. So in your time off, what do you get about? Five weeks? Yeah, about that. But in those five weeks that you're off, do you totally get away? Yes. You do? Well, part of it I get away. And, and I, I, well, when I was in Italy, when I met that uh, Massimo, when I met him in Italy, the owner of the Radicchio restaurant, our plane got canceled. That's how we kind of met. And we had to negotiate our way back to get, because they kept canceling all the flights. Well, we had to start camp. On, on Monday, and I'm about to, I'm going crazy. I'm yelling <laughs> at the people. You're stuck I gotta, I'm stuck there, and I gotta get back home. And I, I told my wife, I go, look, so honey, for whatever we do, we have to arrive back into Philadelphia one week before camp starts. Right, a little wherever, cushion, right? Yeah, wherever we go. Too stressful. Yes. So this is obviously, we're trying to get to know you off the field. They, they put something in the glove box. There's something in there that. Oh, really? Yeah, let's just see. Okay. Yeah, don't get donuts. <laughs> there we go. We got right. some coffee. Yeah, I love coffee. I heard you, you always have a cup. I do like coffee. In your hands? A lot. Not always. I've cut back quite a bit on that too, but. But you're a high energy guy, I mean, right? Yeah, I don't need coffee to be energetic, but I just, <laughs> I've always, you know, I never drank coffee before. I went to Syracuse University, and I think it was 1986, and I, I, I couldn't, I got like four hours of sleep a night. I mean, I was, we were working, it's, we were grinding, so I started. Hard to keep I, going without then it. I started drinking coffee, and the rest is history. Yeah. So you must kind of feel right at home in this area. Oh my goodness, this, look, my dad's 90 years old. When, when they asked me to come here, when, when Howie and Mr. Laurie asked me to come here from Alabama, it was a, such a blessing for me because I've always lived in places where I had to travel a long way right. to come see him. But now it's right, he's an hour up the road, he lives in Pennsylvania. And then what I do is uh, I can get up there in an hour and 10 minutes, have dinner, you know, spend a couple hours, come home. So it's, it's convenient, it's great, it's awesome. That's great. Well, I've enjoyed riding around with you. Thank you for having me. Getting to know you uh, a little bit off the football yeah, field. Yeah, I know I see you on television all the time. You do <laughs> such a great job and uh, have a lot of respect for what you guys do. But now I know you're a health nut, you're a golfer, a gardener. I mean, a, a worldwide traveler. No, I, I'm a gar I say gardener, on. I'm really the hole digger. <laughs> <laughs> you're the helper. <laughs> yeah, I'm the helper is right. All right, uh, well, you better get back to work. Yeah, drive safe. be the one driving. 
no. know in the streets of Philadelphia. I, I'm the way really you do. liking this because it's almost like Uber right now, right? <laughs> <laughs> Except I'm, I'm sitting in the front seat. Are you gonna give me a tip? <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe. Depends on how good you're driving. We'll see how it goes, right? <laughs> You are a major, major mm. sports celebrity here in Philadelphia. I wouldn't say that. Yeah, I wouldn't are. say that. I really enjoy my time here. Um, this is going on 10 years of coaching. It's awesome. 10 years of playing. Uh, there's no city like Philadelphia. What and do you not, love ju about? not just football when yeah. it comes to sports, sports in general. Well, there's the crazy no fans. That's crazy fans yep. that I love because I'm crazy too. So we kind of get along. <laughs> <laughs> um, and just, I mean, they're with you no matter what. But do you live in Philly? Well, I used to. When I played, I lived downtown mm -hmm. Philadelphia. Of course you did. Right. So, you know, I really enjoyed everything then. Um, what, were some, what were some of your favorite spots? I mean, do they still exist? Yes. Budokan is like my favorite spot. Okay. So, uh, I, I couldn't stay away from Budokan. I haven't been, but is it for the young and the wild? Or? It, it, it could be. It depends okay. on how many you have. Okay. <laughs> how many are in your party? Yes. Okay. And, and plus, how many drinks you have. All Got right? it. So, oh, that's uh, what you meant. Right. Okay. <laughs> but so, having played here and then coming back as a coach, give us the, the difference in perspective, because it's, it's pretty different. Definitely, and um, during that time when I got here, Ricky Waters, Charlie Gardner, uh, Bobby Horn, Rodney Pete. Yeah, some uh, big names. I, I mean, some big names yeah. here. So, I had a chance to learn a lot from them, and I'm grateful from, from you know, to be able to be around those guys and learn from them. But then now coming back as the more mature guy and a coach and yeah, different perspective. Yeah, it, I am. And uh, I'm thankful because Andy Reid actually invited me back. And i never forget, he called me. And he was like, what are you doing? I was like, coach, I'm doing radio, doing a little bit of TV. I am OK. I'm fine. Because yeah, that's a pretty good life, too, Yeah, but the TV. As a player, you knew about the horror stories when it came to coaching. Right. You know, going there to 12. Never sleeping. Yeah, never sleeping. Sleeping on the office sleeping floor. Sleeping on the couch, the floor, having your own little right. cover in there. Is that you? No, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Something was definitely wrong back then, you know? <laughs> so when you're not at the office and you're not grinding, you're not thinking about football, what are you doing? When I'm not in the office, so you're talking about our, our vacation. Your vacation, uh, your downtime, how yeah, do you relax? I get a chance to go home and see my mom. Uh, she still lives in South Carolina, mm -hmm. so I still have a lot of uh, family down there that I get a chance to to go see. So speaking of South Carolina, this is sort of a, a get to know you. Okay. And uh, there's something in the glove box uh -oh. that. Well, we just here. There's something in the glove box. Uh -oh. It's not. It's nothing scary. Nothing's okay. gonna jump out oh. at you. But, but we we just thought that's something you drink down the South, right? It Some is, sweet but tea. not me. You don't drink tea. Well, I do, but I only like. So we have some tea. We we, we try to find a map of South Carolina. They don't really make maps anymore. Oh uh, yeah. But uh, but South Carolina. Right. Let's just. I just want to talk about the importance of South Carolina to you. Well, okay. My grandmother makes homemade tea. Okay, so you're never drinking that no, kind of tea. No, I'm never drinking this. Yep. So I don't even look at this in the store. So homemade tea. You can just put. You can just yeah, leave that I in the can, right, You can I just will. leave that in there. <laughs> like I said, just like a great Uber driver, they <laughs> offer things. Totally. You can just give yeah, it right back. <laughs> leave my tip and my iced tea right. back in the glove box. Uh, but uh, but why is South Carolina so special to you? I know I know Philly's special to you because you came here as a player and right. now you're here. But South Carolina. Just being able, like of course I, I was born and raised there. Uh, played my college ball there. When a lot of people uh, during that time, some of the guys I played with and played against were, were leaving. They wanted to go to Georgia. They wanted to go to North Carolina. I wanted to stay home and just be around my family. Mm -hmm. I'm a family guy. What feels more like home, Philly or South Carolina? Oh, that's a tough one, Melissa. That's a tough one. Uh, now, because I've been here so long, uh -huh. I would say Philly. But as soon as I get to South Carolina, it's the same feeling. Yeah. So um, right. it's That's not great. like I'm, I'm, I'm missing you know, either one of them. You it's, got the best of both worlds. I got the best of both worlds. But Philly fans would love to hear that, yeah, right? I love that you Philly. consider. Yes. And being able to deliver a championship? Come on. Yeah? I mean, come on. Doesn't get better than that. No, it doesn't. We were just on, we were just driving down Broad Street. That bring back, every time you drive down, you think of the parade and the memories yeah. of. Yeah, and, and here's the deal too with the parade. I was so sick. 
I couldn't even make it. Oh I no! The parade. Oh no! You needed to have your own parade. I was ter. It was bad. You put everything you had into coaching. Yeah, that's what it you. You put it all on the field. That's what I'm talking about. Right? You're gonna be the best Uber driver ever. If you <laughs> <laughs> I have another future career if my TV right. job doesn't work out. Right. But all right. That won't happen. Uh, I'll let you get back to work. Thank you. Great to hang out with you. Good to see you.